Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munga de Soraka with your weekly reading from the 17th to the 23rd of April. You are very welcome to my channel and this reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. I have five uh, placements in Virgo in my birth chart and um, I uh, love uh, Virgo traits. We have good and bad like everyone else and um, I would like to celebrate uh, everything that is good about Virgos or what we can turn into good if it's not so good. Being a perfectionist, for example, <laughs> can be a bit annoying for others sometimes and we need to hold ourselves back, but it's something that we can deal with. Anyway, if you like my readings, if you like the way I channel, I read, uh, please help to grow the channel and um, I do appreciate you being here. Let's see what this week holds for you. And I am starting with the Archetype Oracle to find the theme for the week. So what is the theme for this week? Oh, we've got three cards showing up. Oh my goodness, talking about Virgo Straits. Wow. Well, we start with the riddle. Something... It could be a bit confusing right now, Virgo. It's um, maybe looking like an obstacle that you feel like you can't overcome. Uh, you try to get from different angles. You are praying for a solution. You are trying to um, go for it from different angles, but you don't seem to be able to um, find the solution. So this could be very, very frustrating. But it comes with the mystic and the healer. So Virgo, this is allowing you to discover more of your gorgeous magic because you are the healer of the zodiac and you have amazing psychic abilities. You um, possibly are connecting with the spirit world. Uh, the spirit universe with angels, with dragons, unicorns, fairies, whatever they might be, uh, beings of light. And uh, you um, may not be fully aware of your abilities, but this week is definitely helping you to get to know more about yourself. Now, I am going to try to put these two in here because they are both equally important. I don't know whether they will stay, but hopefully they will. So we've got the healer and the mystic. Oh, yay, womanist. So um, the riddle is what you try to solve, what you try to overcome, and... Uh, a very interesting uh, energy. So um, I'm going to pull some tarot cards on this one and, um, and see what is this riddle about. What is it that looks like um, you can't crack the code for to open this door? It's like Spirit is showing me a door with... Um, you know, like when you need to punch in those um, numbers and letters to open it. Um, but this is more magical than that. This is um, like those um, adventure films where you have these um, interesting um, markings on stones and um, you need to press certain ones and then the door opens. So it's a door, something that is not giving in right now. Okay, Virgo, so what we have here is you are standing there thinking, should I give up? What should I do? I have no idea. I am stuck. I don't know what to do now. I don't know how to, solve, how to solve this. I have tried everything. The magician is reversed. The page of cups came out horizontally and the four of pentacles is standing. So this is a very interesting one because um, 
it shows that confusion, like what's next? It's like um, my magic doesn't work. Um, I try to stay calm and see this situation uh, and myself with love, but you are very much shut down in this uh, case. And um, let's see more about this. What is this riddle about? Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles with uh, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a situation where you have two people, uh, possible love interests, one is younger than the other, and um, your heart is unable to decide between the two of you. It's like there is room for both of them in your heart, and, um, and you just don't know how to be um, honest and open about this, even with yourself. Now, that's starting to make sense. So... We are going to look into this in a moment, but the key here, Virgo, is that you have the answer within you already, even if you don't see it. You loving, you are loving and caring towards both people. And I feel that you are deciding whether you would like one of these people as your life partner. So you are watching, you are stepping back, you are allowing things to unfold. And uh, at the same time, I, I feel that you got to the point where no effort brought you any progress, so now you are surrendering. And I think that's when the breakthrough is going to come in. So, what is this? What can crack this riddle is the mystic and the healer. So let's go about the mystic. What can you learn here? What can we learn here? We've got the Justice card with the King of, uh, sorry, no, the Queen of Swords. The Justice card with the Queen of Swords. So I feel that this mystic energy is um, a bit repressed and not accessible because you are still trying to use your amazing, um, amazing, <laughs> that's interesting, amazing intellect to solve the problem. And the mage is the magician. So you try um, possibly too hard to go for your mind and not allowing the magic to work out. And this um, justice card is that you know that you deserve to get through this door, this portal. You know that you deserve to open this riddle, to, to solve this riddle. And um, this um, balance is the key to balance your mind power and your magical power. Yeah, that's it. So what is the healer about? Two of pentacles with the call, which is the judgment. So the decision, whatever you are going to make, is depending on whether you are answering the call, whether you are accepting that you have more than meets the eye, that you are amazing at reading other people, feeling their emotions, um, anticipating what their next step will be, um, 
knowing that what you feel about the other person is real and um, you are not making it up. So stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting your mind and allow your soul to help you because these two are coming from your soul and your mind is stuck on something very humane and it can't be solved on that level it needs to be solved on the soul level so this is very interesting Virgo now let's look into um, what we need to know to see the full picture I am using my very own moon goddess oracle deck with my channel paintings and um Seeing this week, what is it that we need to know? So the theme is you need to use your innate, magical, amazing abilities. And what else we need to know about this week? Interesting. Number 11. And what is also interesting when I am doing this reading is the 11th of April because I am working ahead because I'm going to take a holiday soon. And um, it is about the heart's light. What creates the real difference in your world? That's the question. Giving love, being loved and feeling lovable. So it's all about unconditional love. Have you ever experienced it from others? Are you giving it to yourself? Lots of questions here. So this whole situation, this riddle is all about accepting yourself unconditionally. Not belittling yourself, not trying to compare yourself to others, not trying to give away your power, accepting this is who I am. This is what I have. And uh, that unconditional love is going to become your solution to these two love interests, the connection with them, and to the connection with yourself. Um, it's like opening up a safe that spirit is showing me. And inside of the safe, so that's, that's the safe, and you are punching in the right code, of unconditional love and that's what you find inside um, these energies are connecting to past lives you could have been a healer in one of your past lives a mystic like a witch maybe and um, these two people here the knight of wands and the king of pentacles are relating to those past lives could be two different past lives obviously because it's two different people now the good thing is the bottom of the deck is the money tree and the money tree has a lot to do with abundance and your self-worth and four and nine are the energies here four is stability nine is progress four plus nine is 13 so this is really allowing your soul to guide you um, the soul often guides you through feelings, sensing things, and three plus one is also four. <clears throat> so it is a lot to do about how you feel in this world. Do you feel supported, safe and secure? Uh, if not, that's what you need to find, that feeling of I am supported. And look at that underneath another number for energy. And this is the being of light. So your head is in the universe. Your roots are on the earth. And you are um, like a pillar of light connecting heaven and earth. You are not a human only. You are a spirit with a human body. So you need to crack this and allow your mind to access what you have within. Wow, it's so, so interesting and amazing. Virgo, this is beautiful. So 
your unconditional love is going to crack this code. Now, wow, very good. <laughs> um, let's let's find out a little bit more about this um, situation with the Knight of Wands. So you have a younger love interest, a Knight of Wands. Let's see what is showing up. Okay. So you don't trust fully this um, Knight of Wands. You see red flags. You um, you feel there is some kind of um, manipulation going on. Uh, something not as it seems with them. And uh, this is an emperor energy that's showing up here with the strength card. Um, very likely that you are dealing with a fire sign, although we did have Libra and another Virgo in the picture uh, with Scorpio also present. But here we've got a Leo and an Aries. So... Fire sign is also possible. What I am getting, Virgo, it's very possible that you have these two people in your life because one is your twin flame and the other one is your soulmate. And you can't decide between the two of them. So you feel that you just need to be um, resilient enough and things are going to work out. You are very much loving and caring towards this person and um, you feel that you do need to make a decision about this situation with the Knight of Wands. And um, yeah, there is lots of hurt here. You see, um, you had lots of headache about it. Eight of swords with the nine of pentacles deciding should you stay on your own waiting for this twin flame um, and then there is the three of swords with the sun card which indicates that you are, your heart got broken but you still were happy with this person again a leo card here you could be dealing with a leo and then we've got the ten of swords with the wheel of fortune so there is another fire sign sagittarius um, there is this uh, bittersweet energy like you can be very happy with this person and they can hurt you really badly so you are hoping that the two of you can get out of this hamster wheel and and finally break through but you also have this feeling of which is to do with the mystic and the healer not trusting this person they are you feel that they are not honest with you Okay, so let's ask about the King of Pentacles, which is a more settled energy in your life. They are very likely very committing and um, they, they play um, their game uh, very honestly. Everything is above the table and... Um, I feel that soulmate of yours is more um, of a safe and secure energy that you can rely on. So let's see what spirit is showing us about this situation. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. So... Um, this person has a very beautiful feminine side to them in a sense of they could be very intuitive, magical, you are happy with them. There is lots of work. Uh, this person loves their work, but it's uh, something that you can relate to because Virgos love working. Working is our... Um, 
place to escape if something happens. We like uh, doing our work very well. We are proud to do things and um, um, in a good way. And uh, it, it gives us a sense of achievement and uh, allowing us to know who we are. So this person, I'm not saying they are a Virgo, they could be, but they also are very um, much finding pride in their work. And uh, they have this sensitive side to them. And they actually are uh, observing the situation with you. What else we can find out about this person? Uh -huh. And there is lots of happiness here. Right. So this King of Pentacles, this is the card of marriage, um, is the type of person and not as if we didn't know from a king of pentacles on its own there's the marrying king that's an abundant king um and um so this feels like a very stable happy connection and we've got the five of swords with the seven of swords so it is possible that this person of yours spends lots of time in their head, maybe too much time. And um, uh, for, for some reason, Spirit wants me to add up these swords. So 7 plus 5 is 12, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Um, so this is interesting because this person is fighting between their mind and their emotions, their mind and their intuition. And um, so what I am feeling is um, they feel this is very good with you and... Um, <clears throat> Maybe they are hiding away the idea of making things more official between the two of you. There is the king of wands as well with the six of wands. But they are waiting in spite of the fact that they can't wait to, to proceed. So... Wow. It looks like you can't move on fully from the Knight of Wands, who is more um, about playing and not being able to commit much younger than the other one. And uh, <clears throat> in spite of uh, you knowing this, and you may have been choosing your soulmate over them. You can't let the Knight of Wands fully go. And that's where this riddle is coming in. If you connect with unconditional love, then you find a solution to both situations. That's um, the, the message here. So let's just pull a few cards on this heart light. Well, we don't need to go very far. We've got the lovers showing up with this unconditional love. And, um, oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is so good. So this is like an elixir to your broken heart. And it's like... Um, you were playing out this pattern in this lifetime and previous previous lifetime of being betrayed, being um, abandoned, being rejected, which came with this three of swords energy. These are from the bottom of the deck. So the lovers is the key here. And um, <clears throat> you learned to find your balance. And then came this love offer uh, from... 
um, possibly the Knight of Wands or similar to Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands, it also represents here your previous pattern that you were playing out all the time of abandonment, rejection, and so on, so on. And this Nine of Pentacles is showing that you made a decision between staying single or being in an equally loving uh, connection. And uh, the Six of Pentacles is that giving and receiving. So Virgo, what I am seeing here is you have a Twin Flame, you have a soulmate and you have the lovers. And I feel that this unconditional love energy is showing that you can uh, feel the unconditional love towards yourself, towards both of these people. And you are going to decide to be with the King of Pentacles because you realize they offer you everything that you ever wanted the love the feeling uh, it's like uh, you can be independent you can feel independent if the, in this love connection although you are a very good match for each other so you are no longer dissolving yourself in the other person and trying to please them and be someone who you are not you know exactly who you are that's the nine of pentacles you know what you want and you finally can create a re really loving, gorgeous connection where you keep your individuality um, and live the way you love to live and you can do it with someone else in a committed relationship. Wow. So this is amazing. This is a fantastic uh, energy for this week will go. Uh, let's see the crystal deck, what practical guidance it offers. And then I am going to continue on Patreon with these two people. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> your twin flame and your soulmate. Uh, because this is a very deep reading. This is not easy to do, what is this outlining here. It will take more than a week to tackle this. It could be years, but you can do this. You've got the Wolfenite uh, crystal as a guidance, feelings, cycles, integrating. So this is very much summing up what I was saying, like the cycles of betrayal, of uh, uh, being... Um, rejected, abundant, is going to change and the integration process is ongoing. It says, drawing this card signifies the need to identify those with whom you have a soul contract, go beyond the needs of the ego and work at a spiritual level until the lesson or task is complete. So go beyond the level of ego and work on the spiritual level. See? So, I love these crystals. They are just so amazing. It says, once done, it opens the self to higher psychic and spiritual work. So if you want to work with Wolfenite, look it up, get one, because that exactly is the crystal that helps you with this uh, challenge. It brings into focus the past life contracts made and aids us in identifying others. See, so this is just confirming everything I was channeling earlier. In this way, it helps us to draw and bond with those with whom we have a soul link and encourages us to complete the purpose of that relationship before releasing us. It opens us to understanding the greater cycles of life and death. See, this is amazing. So, um, it also works with the balancing of female hormones. So, this is shifting you also where go from the distorted masculine behavior to accepting your feminine side, these psychic abilities, sensing, feeling, in being intuitive are those repressed energies which you didn't allow to come to the surface before. Wow, Virgo, this is amazing. 
I think I shouted at pretty much everything that uh, oh, I didn't say about Gemini. And we've got temperance energy here. Sagittarius again. So uh, thank you so much for being here. Liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I'm going to continue on Patreon. And I hope to see you there. If not, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.